Hi guys, so today Hi. I have my boyfriend Pierre back with, uh, with me, with us. <laughs> He's with us. Special and, guest. And uh, we're uh, in our robes right now. Yeah. Uh, it's late and uh, we just wanted to chill and make a video together. Yeah. So. Because we're chilling most of the time anyways, so. Pretty much. Yeah. This is our quarantine outfit right now. Quarantine outfit. So. Yes. <laughs> so basically today, what we're going to be doing is kind of similar to the video that we did together, our first one is I'm gonna get Pierre to smell like a few of my fragrances that I like to wear and I just wanna get his opinion on them. Some of them he never smells on me, some of them I'm sure he doesn't really, he's not very familiar with, so we're kind of getting like a, a new sort of impression. So wait, the goal is to tell me what I think of them or to rate them if they're essential, sexy or whatever? Girls like to know what is sexy, okay. so let's see so what's sexy. So I just sexy. say what's sexy and the rest I just give my opinion. Kind of, yeah. Okay, okay. we'll give your opinion of the scent, if you like it, what you smell a little bit. We have quite a lot of fragrances here, so we need to go kind of quickly. Okay. But also give it a rating, like if you would I like... I need to rate, I don't like rating. Okay, well then tell the girl if you would like to smell it on a girl. Okay, okay. Okay? What if I rate the ones I want to rate? <sighs> it's difficult. It's difficult. <laughs> That's why I'm pretty easy. <laughs> okay, okay, fine, fine. Okay. So, anyways, nice. let's just get into it, because like I said, there's a lot here. So, we're just going to go in a random order. So the first fragrance that I have is Parfum de Mali Dali. Darcy. Which, Darcy. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're off to a fantastic I mean, so, start right some now. Some of the names are pretty similar. So. I mean, uh, there's a guy's one that's called Dali, but this one is, like you said, Darcy. Yeah. Okay. So, so like, I, I know the, my things better than you. Sometimes. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's... Uh, I don't. You, that should have the perfume panel. Okay, I so don't. I only sprayed this one. I just uh, accidentally did it, but we're going to just spray them as we go. Well, I know it. Yeah, I know. But uh, I didn't smell it since like a long time ago. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah? It's... Um, okay. I think it's very unique. And okay. um, what I like about it is that you can smell like there's a lot of things inside of this. Oh, you know? it's... Like there's nothing yeah. that really takes over. Uh-huh. Um, even though like uh, it smells like floral, it mm -hmm. smells a little oriental or yeah. some way. It smells a little nutsy. Yes. Because I'm nutty. pretty sure there is like praline in this one. Oh, praline, yeah, I'm sure it's in here. Which I really like and in patchouli. the fragrance. Uh, yeah, patchouli for sure. Patchouli, yeah. like it's a very strong patchouli scent. Yeah. It's uh, it's not a, I don't think it's a perfume for, um, it's not like an entry niche or it's not an easy perfume. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, it's, complex. Uh, it's a little complex. Okay. It's, um, yeah, it's, I don't think it's for everyone. Okay. But if you like it, I'm sure you would like it. Yeah, because actually yeah. when Pierre told me that he liked this fragrance, like I was quite shocked because I know it's not like a massive seller from Mali and this one is a lot... Like, it's a lot more uh, underrated from the house. I personally like it, but it's not my favorite at all. So, but I still like it. Yeah, so. I understand why it's not one of the best sellers. Yeah. It's, it's a very, uh, like it's, say, it's specific, it's yeah. complex. It's, uh, yeah, but in general, like, I think it's very well blended. And yeah. if you really like this smell, this scent, like, yeah. you would really fall in love with it. And I feel this could be like a really signature fragrance. Yeah, it's very too. unique me and too. it's one of a kind. So, are we giving this anything. one a rating or not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I want to give it an 8. <gasps> wow. wow. Yeah, an 8. Okay. So, an 8? Yeah, really like final rating. Yeah, a final rating. Okay, 8. Alright, so, next up, we have uh, Armani Privé, Ver Malachite. Nice accent. Ah, uh, thanks. Nice <laughs> I maybe or, may or may not live with a French guy. Yeah? So, and uh, you didn't tell me? There we go. Ver Malachite. Uh, again, like uh, the in the last video, there was rouge, mm -hmm. but the bottle of the green is like incredible. It's like, incredible. This marble-looking uh, bottles are yeah. whoa, like yeah. it's, it's incredible. But I think the cap is supposed to be like this. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure. That's fine. So. So what the scent, um, when I would see like a green bottle like this, mm -hmm. I would expect like a green scent. Yes. Which is not the case no. at all. Yeah, like it's, he's right. It doesn't smell green at all. It's the um, same. It's, um, Do you feel like it's similar I to the Rouge? There is a DNA in common for sure. Okay, yeah. Like there is a sort of DNA, yeah. something comforting. Yeah. I don't know how to say, but there is like a sort of... Because they both are... I know you... I'm not sure if you're smelling it, but there's both uh, white florals in each of them. This one has lily, I think, and gardenia. 
So for me, I don't like this one as much as personally. I much prefer the Rouge because it has amber and more... Uh, it's got a more sensual feeling, but this one, it's still beautiful. It's very white floral to me. It's very white floral, but I personally don't like white floral perfumes because they smell like either very old, old yeah. uh, like a little like uh, outdated, yeah. if it makes sense. Yeah. Um, but this one smells a little more modern yeah. for like white floral. So yeah, agree. It's interesting. It's I not agree. what I prefer, but yep. I think if you like white floral perfumes, like you this is a very this one. good one. Yeah, for sure. Because it's not like it's not a um, overwhelming white flowers because you feel like there's something else as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm not sure what it is, but I know you're right. There's something else in the fragrance that. Uh, meshes it together nicely so it doesn't smell too much like white flowers it's a little sweet also uh -huh. like i don't know i have no idea what it is but <sighs> maybe a touch of vanilla in there yes. i don't know it smells a little sweet yeah. and white floral but uh yeah nothing really taking over so so do you like it or not really i like, like it all? okay i like it i prefer rouge yeah um but i like it okay uh i would give it a seven okay Vert malachite seven out of ten Okay, so next up we have Rehab from Anisio. So let's see what you think about this fragrance. I know it. I yeah, know he knows it, right. but uh, we'll see his opinion. Is it? This is a video for women. Yeah. It's for women. Okay. Let's even though some of these fragrances can be worn on anyone, I'm doing it for the women. Because the initials are generally like we always say, like unisex. Yep. This one for me is more, f like much more feminine. Yep. Like I wouldn't really see a guy wearing this. Okay. Um, I'm not a fan. Okay. Uh, even though like you know how much like I love the initial line in general. Yep. Um, yep. this is probably one of my least favorites from okay. Initio. Okay. Okay. Probably my least favorite, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Which uh, and why do you dislike it? Uh, there's something that disturbs me in the okay. uh, in the smell. So like, there's a note uh, that disturbs you. It's not necessarily a note because I know the ingredients and I pretty much like them individually. Mm -hmm. But I'm not a fan of the the, the blend. Yeah. You know? Okay. Like okay. there is a, I feel like there is like a nutsy mm -hmm. addition to like a lavender and patchouli. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not it, the, you something just don't I like. like it. yeah. yeah, of course. Okay, so Even he just doesn't like this one. It's uh, feminine. Yeah. Uh, I really like Inicio in general, but that's fine. You guys know personally, I love this fragrance, like uh, Rehab, I love. It's definitely by far not my favorite from Inicio because I love this line so much, and you guys know Absolute Aphrodisiac, uh, Atomic Rose, uh, there's so many. Psychedelic Love. Reef of Greatness, like I love them, but this one I do love, but it's definitely not my favorite. It really doesn't smell at all like the rest of the Initios collection. Yeah. Like, you know, we yeah. always say it's like a little uh, dark, mysterious. Yeah. yeah, this one is warm, not dark rich. And This one is, uh, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're allowed to not like it. So, Initio Rehab is a no go. No. All right, so next up we have a Christian Dior uh, Monsieur Le Parfum. So, let's see. I never wear this one like in front of Pierre, but uh, I want to see what he thinks. Actually, I didn't add like a lot of friends when I was a little younger uh, that were, were wearing this one. So it's probably going to remind me of the smell of uh, some of my yeah, friends. Yeah, but there's so many from this line. Like, uh, you know how they do like flankers yeah, and stuff? Yeah, like, yeah. this is like one of them. So of it's course. crazy. But I, anyways, I just didn't smell it since a yeah. long time. So, yeah. like, even you never wear it. So. I never wear it. But it's not um, for any reason. I just uh, like other fragrances more. Yeah, I like it. Wow, Actually, okay. I like it. Can I see? It doesn't smell... Um, okay. Usually from the Miss Dior, I would expect something like very girly, young, yeah. Yeah. whereas this one's not at all. Yeah. This one smells more... Uh, Womanly. Yeah, more like a woman. A it smells sexy. like... Uh, like very floral, mm -hmm. of course. I'm guessing like... I don't Let's know, see, because I know like the notes in here, I think. Orange blossom. Ah, you're close. You're very close. Uh, there is orange in here, like the note of orange like at okay. the top. And then there's rose, patchouli, a little bit of amber. So it's more of like this very strong like rose scent uh, with a mixture of like patchouli, amber, and the orange is very, like you're right, it's like it's got a very orangey presence to it, according to the juice. It reminds me of... Um, it reminds me of, actually... But I like this one. It reminds me a little tiny bit of Marley. That's yeah. the first thing that came to my mind when I smelled Sapinet? it. Saponet? Yeah. Saponet. Exactly, okay. Saponet. Not from the color, even yeah. though it's pretty similar. Yeah. But the scent, like, uh, yes, because Saponet, uh, 
are uh, there is like orange, orange blossom, and like sort of like woody combination yeah. like patchouli wood yeah. and stuff yeah yeah it reminds me of it yeah and For me, uh, actually it's nice I yeah like it. i really like this one i feel like it suits like a a woman not a little like young teenage girl i feel like this is very womanly and like could be an everyday signature so yeah i really everyday like this for one sure. yeah Every day for it's time. really nice so what yeah, do it's we really think? nice floral a little like um woody yeah uh, in the base a little oriental sort yeah of definitely yeah. some oriental like amber and stuff yeah. Okay. Uh, what do we give? What do we give? Um, I would give it a seven. A seven. Okay, yeah. not bad. Next fragrance. Atelier Cologne. Café Tuberosa. Café Tuberosa. So, let's see what you think about this one. I got this one when we were in Paris. Mm. Yeah, I remember. Yeah? Actually, you've been wearing it uh, uh -huh. quite a lot. I am. So, I know the smell. Yeah. But let's see. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> it's like uh, first, uh, it's it's interesting. Uh, it's not what I like to smell on a woman. Yeah, you know, because okay. like a uh, first spray is like a coffee explosion. Coffee like, smoky uh, explosion. Yeah. It's just like uh, it's like you just sprayed it and it smells like coffee, like uh, it's bitter, it's dark straight away. Yeah. But I feel um, like uh, eventually once it settles a little bit, it evolves mm -hmm. and. Um, and uh, yeah, you get more of the tubers. Uh -huh. um, it smells like very like from from the soil. You okay. know, it's, like, ah, it's yes. not like a flower like yeah. that smells like a rose. Or, no, no, it's, no, no. it's like flower, a little, a little dirty green. flower. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Definitely. But still, the coffee uh, note is very uh, Overpowering still. Overpowering. Let's let you know. I'm just gonna put it on the side, and I want to smell it again. Outside. Like because uh, like. right now you're just getting coffee. Yeah. Can I see? I mean, yeah, it's very you know? strong coffee. I get little tubers in the back, to be honest. And uh, when it settles down, it becomes sweeter, which I love. But it really smells like coffee and cigarettes to me. Like, there's a little bit of a cigarette smell in this so fragrance. like Paris vibes? Paris vibes. Like, all the way. Like, uh, <laughs> I felt so Parisian when I was wearing this scent. In Paris. In Paris. So, uh, it couldn't be better. Perfect combo. Yeah. But so, yeah, I'm not a fan of it. Like, uh, yeah. it's not something that I like to smell on a woman. Smell on a woman. Yeah. It doesn't smell feminine. Of course, um, like it's not a feminine scent. It's uh, it's not something that I like to smell on someone. I love Atelier Cologne, mm -hmm. you know it, but I love them for their fresh scent. Yeah. And when, it's, when it starts to be like a little like gourmand, uh, Oriental. sweet, Orientals, uh, that's not what they're the best for. Yeah. So, I'm not a fan of this one. Okay. I think it's All right. Personally, I love this scent, but uh, we're having uh, his opinion today. Yeah. So. Six. A six. Okay. Next one is from an Gutal or Gutal no, now. <laughs> yeah. And it is Nuit et Confidence. Is that how I say it? Nuit et Confidence. Nuit et Confidence. Which means a night and um, like uh, confidence, it's like truth. Okay, you know? night and truth. Interesting. Like uh, telling you secrets. You okay. Know? Confidential. Uh, pretty much. What do we think of this fragrance? Ooh. <laughs> you got it on your nose. This is probably the one that smells the more generic. Generic? From, yeah, from okay, what from we smell already. So okay. It's the least unique. Yes. Do we agree? Like, it's not very unique. Uh, it's pleasant. Mm -hmm. I just smell it for one second. Yeah. It smells pleasant. It's very feminine. It's very feminine? Okay. Yeah, it's not very feminine. It's feminine. Yeah, okay. You know? I don't know. Okay. Um, you want me to tell you? It smells... You? Uh, it has vanilla, yeah, I smell like marshmallows, sort of like marshmallow. gourmand vibe, yeah. I was gonna say. And it's to me it's slightly powdery, a little smoky, like there's a tiny bit of a smokiness in there, tiny bit. And it's got this vanilla, marshmallowy, powdery vibe. Mm. Powdery, I get the vanilla for sure. And there's a freshness in the top actually. There's, the, a, there's a tanginess to this fragrance when I just smelled it. The marshmallow is probably what gives me this gourmand vibe, yeah. like a little sweet, yeah. like you know. Yeah, but even though like the, I feel like even though the ingredients uh, smell like, pretty unique, yeah, I don't feel like the scent is. Uh, no, that guys, the scent is not groundbreaking, and I, um, I would never say it's groundbreaking, but I still really like this one because it's very like delicate, powdery, sweet, a little like tanginess to it, and I really like it. But like he said himself, like it's not groundbreaking whatsoever. There's a million fragrances that smell like this, mm. um, so we don't really like it. It's all right. It's all right. It's not my favorite. Alright, right. you're I'll allowed to not it, like it. Uh, six and a half out of ten. Okay, six and a half. Alright, so let's move on. Well, Delina. Yeah. I wanted to include it though, just so they would uh, get your opinion. And I'm going to ask uh, you a very tough question in a minute. I know what's going to be the question. I know. 
go on. So, tell us. Delina, I know it so well. Yeah, a lot of people around me wear it. Uh, you wear it, my mom wears it, my mm -hmm. cousins wear it, some yeah. of my friends wear it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really like it. I think it's very, for, um, uh, I think it's very, like, very unique yeah. for this type of perfume, you know, like a uh, very uh, fruity, yeah. floral, rose fragrance, yeah. you know, like there's, yeah. there were so many of them that were made, but this one has like something so like, unique, um, like a little sweet and uh, a little sour from the rhubarb, a little sour from the rhubarb, but at first, because what you get eventually, yeah. like I really like the, it's really f so feminine, yeah. like it's really feminine, it's really pretty, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't smell like uh, I don't feel it smells like sexy, I don't feel it smells like uh, uh, girly, like it just yeah. smells like super feminine, yeah. like very uh, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. And I agree pretty. with him, like for this, uh, for, for this type of fragrance, that's a rose, peony, fruity um, sort of scent. To me, this fragrance is super distinctive and if anybody wore this around me, I would know without doubt it was Delina, which to me, like a, yeah, very unique. it's just got this distinctive smell to it. I'm not sure what it is in the scent, but it's I know it. It's like I know it when I smell it. Plus, okay, like we'll never mix uh, up this fragrance for another one. Massive compliment getter. Of course. Like they know. <laughs> of course. Like they know this on my channel. So out of ten. Eight. Okay, so an eight. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so next up we have Killian, Black Phantom. So let's see what he thinks. Let's see what he thinks. Uh, very unisex. Very first. unisex. Like so I cannot say that this is very feminine. No. Um, Not at all. I would actually see a, a guy wearing this. Yeah, me too. More than a, a lot of more this is a girl. lot of guys like favorite scent ever. Mm. Black but it's uh, it's uh, it's very interesting. It's super gourmand. Yeah. Like uh, it smells edible. Mm -hmm. What is it? It's like wait wait. Let me try to guess. It's uh, uh, it's coffee. Uh huh. Um, there is something like cinnamon or like sugar. Or, yeah, you're uh, pretty close. Like, something like this. it smells super gourmand. Like, yeah. It smells edible. I think one time you said that you liked it. I think. But wearing it, you feel like you would probably uh, become like sick, sickened by the scent on you. Maybe. I think you said this. Which, um, because it's very sweet. Yeah, it's very you know, sweet. Like it's very, it's, it smells like a dessert. It's milky, it's creamy, it's uh, coffee, it's chocolate, it's everything. Oh, so for me, it smells like a brownie. A brownie? Like a sort of like chocolate brownie. Can I tell you what I feel? To me, it smells like peanut butter. Like, smell it and think of peanut butter yeah. in your mouth. Brownie with peanut butter. Brownie with peanut Let's butter. Say. Like it smells like it has this like caramel ish yeah. vibe. It's very gourmand. Yeah. I don't really see it on a woman. Okay. So Even it's... though it could be worn, like I'm not saying it's masculine, like it's unisex, mm -hmm. but it's not feminine. Okay. Um, and you like women to smell feminine? Not always. Like okay. I would like, uh, I, don't, I don't really feel like you wear this one very often. I don't. Um, Even though I love it. But uh, I would I would enjoy it on you. The only time, the only reason I don't I wear this is because we're in Dubai and it's super hot and this would kill me. <laughs> yeah. So that's why. Sure. But uh, what would you rate this then? I would give it a seven. Okay, seven. I would give it a seven. Okay. But um, interesting. Like for okay. uh, I would say for women who want to smell like a little different. Mysterious. Mysterious, sweet gourmand like. Uh, it it would be like a good one. Okay, Atelier des Or. Cœur des Anges. Cœur des Anges. Yeah. Yeah. This fragrance right here. So. Super pretty, by the way. This bottle is yeah. stunning. Like, uh, like uh, 10, like 10 out of 10. Oh, so pretty. 10 out of 10 for Beautiful. packaging this brand. Okay, let's see. What do we think? I can already smell it now. It smells different from what I remembered. Yeah. Probably because it's on the paper. No, but I think yeah, I, I thought it would, like, from what I remembered, I didn't smell it since probably mm. a month or yeah. weeks, but I remember that it smelled more green than this. Green? Yeah. Whereas now I just get, like, a citrusy vibe. Citrus. Yeah. Whenever you spray the Atelier, uh, Atelier des Or fragrances, you have gold on you, literally, on your skin. 
So, is to it be settling? Honest, baby, like I just smell citrus. Like, like it's not, it's not lime. It's bergamot. It's like lemon. It's um, I think it's blood orange. That's in here, and to me, there's some honey in here. Do you get any sweetness? No, I get a sort of like grape lemon vibe. Grape lemon vibe. It okay. smells like a shisha. I <laughs> <laughs> smells like a shisha. Notes, like literally lemon mint, like grape lemon. Yeah. Okay, so not a fan, fan, don't like it. I really think I cannot read it like from the top notes. Okay, should we like, leave this one? On your skin, it becomes a lot more sweet and warm, which is in my experience. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, let's get back to it later. Okay. All right, so next up we have Nishane's Ani. One of my uh, go-tos right now, as you know. Probably the one you're wearing the most. Probably the one I'm wearing the most right now is yeah. this one. So for me right now, it's like your me. smell. It's my smell right yeah. now. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. <laughs> no, I really like it. Okay. I think it is very interesting. Um, you know that I love vanilla. Mm -hmm. And um, this one is like... Vanilla. It's vanilla. Like really, there's a lot of vanilla and a sort of like sharp, woody, mm -hmm. I don't know if it's green or something, like, like sharp, woody yeah. note to it. Yeah. In the back. Maybe it's some sort of like garlic wood, cedar wood, I'm not sure. Yeah, you yeah, know, it's definitely got a woodiness down under. And in the top it also has ginger, which is giving that little spicy okay. sort of kick to it. And also for me, it feels very... Uh, I don't like ginger personally, but I cannot smell it. Yeah. But if it's well blended, it means that it just adds a sort of like spiciness. Kick to it, yeah, kick, a little kick. Which I definitely get, but I cannot smell ginger. Like and uh, just uh, so you know, this fragrance lasts, like it's one of my lo longest lasting fragrances on my skin. Like it's crazy. Yeah, and that's for it's a really long time. When you wear it, like, uh, yeah. It's crazy. That's for a really long time. No, it's Sorry. really, it's really interesting. Like it's a great perfume. I feel like um, you have a better experience smelling it when I wear it. So yeah, for sure. And I, I always come compliments yeah. you when you wear it. I'm like, and same with your mom. I remember we, I walked into the living room. She was like, yeah. "What's that smell?" And I told her, and she, uh, she liked it. Yeah. It's a very uh, distinguished vanilla perfume. Yeah, it's the very different. Mm -hmm. uh, it's super interesting, distinguished, pearly, and yeah, I can tell actually it lasts for a long time. Yeah. So out yeah, of ten, it's a very good one. Out of ten? Um, eight. Eight. Okay, cool. Eight as well. Okay, so we like this one. Eight as well, yeah, I really like it. Okay. And it's uh, really interesting on a woman. Next one. <laughs> Atelier Cologne Silver Iris. So, I know exactly what he's going to say about this fragrance. I know exactly what I'm going to say about this fragrance. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my lips again. Yep. Mm. I feel like I'm gonna be really tasty tonight. Oh yeah. My lips. Um, so? So? Um, <laughs> it's a little hint of Atelier Cologne and yeah. uh, something else. Yeah. So Silver Iris. Um, you know it's my mom's perfume. Yeah. And we actually stole it from her right yeah. before the video. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So for me it smells like my mom. I've like never smelled his mom wearing any other fragrance. Maybe Rehab once or twice, but she it's her signature scent, Silver Iris. Yeah, it's not my favorite type of perfume Yeah. Uh, in general. You know, Why it's not? Like, for me, it's super powdery, super powdery. Yeah. It has a little like fruity it's, vibe to yeah. it. It's like, it's I get a sort sweet. of like strawberry, raspberry, mm -hmm. berry, yeah. I feel, in the opening. But in general, it's super powdery. It smells like makeup. It smells like makeup. Like it does, it does. It smells like makeup. Um, which this one like the atelier cologne are usually like very unisex but I would never see a guy wearing this very feminine <laughs> it's super feminine very feminine um, I would say that it smells like a uh, mature woman but I'm just thinking of my mom so I don't yeah. think it's very relevant and actually I would see like pretty much any girl like wearing this yeah maybe young actually. yeah for me like it's I think it's a little like you said a little more mature like maybe like 20s up Personally, I love the scent, like it's super nice iris fragrance, but if you don't even like the smallest bit of powder in your fragrances, stay far stay away. away. Stay, stay away. Yeah. Stay home, stay safe. If you like powdery and uh, very feminine perfumes, mm -hmm. you would like this one. Yeah. Which personally is not my favorite type, but mm -hmm. I still, uh, I'm used to the smell and I like it because it reminds me of my mom. Yeah. But if I completely remove the fact, like the positive thought of my mom, the smell itself, it's not my favorite. Yeah, okay. So, so out of favorite. 10? Out of 10, 
seven. Okay, seven. Seven. All right, and the final fragrance that we have is a Nisio's Oud for Greatness, which is actually from Pierre's collection. But uh, I also wear it, so I want him to tell you guys what he feels about this for a woman. I feel like we've mentioned this one in all the videos. Pretty much, videos, pretty so much, pretty much. Oud for Greatness, uh, it's my among my top three favorite perfumes, personally. <laughs> so yeah. I, I really love it. It smells incredible. I wear it myself like quite often. Yes. So yeah. uh, you would think that I could say that for me it smells more masculine, but not at all. Like it's a very f unisex. Yeah. Because you be you wear it a lot. I wear it a lot. Too. So we both actually wear it a lot, and even when you wear it, like I think it's fabulous. Um, it's still like mysterious, sort of dark, not too like very interesting, sweet oud fragrance. Yeah. Um, gourmand, oriental, mm -hmm. it's just so interesting, it's fabulous, like... Yeah, it's a, it, it catches your attention, like this it's, fragrance. It's so unique, like, it's uh, really unique, very distinguished, very, like, uh, power, powerful, mm -hmm. like, it's, yeah, you wear this and you just get in a room, like, everyone knows it. And also, this lasts on your clothes and your skin for days, like, I sprayed it in my hair and on my clothes and yeah, I could smell it, like, long so long after, like, it was insane. Yeah. And uh, you also know I like to mix it mostly with Baccarat and you also love this combo. Right? Which is like a, a bomb, like yeah, when it's... you wear like Baccarat and for greatness. Like, it's a... Uh... Just individually those two are like super powerful so when you yeah. wear like... Together? Like, I'm a local like, lady. It's, it's a bomb. Like, yeah. Which uh, I don't mind as long as you don't put too many sprays yeah. on each. Because if you spray like 10 of each, you just smell for one week, like straight, yeah, and you shower twice a day. Yeah. But no, for greatness, it's just wonderful. Yeah. So and even some of my friends wear it, and yeah. like, when so you smell it on boring. someone without knowing what they're smelling, and you just like come get closer, I'm like, oh, I like you wearing it for greatness. Yeah, it's And super actually, whatever, like I'm just keeping it uh, uh, with my collection, and every time my friends like get in my room, like uh, come back like during a party or what, they still make it for greatness. Yeah. And it's so loud that they cannot do it like in discreetly. Way, you know, like. <laughs> They always come back like nothing happened. And, like <laughs> you saw my perfume. You saw like, like, <laughs> like it's yeah. the worst perfume to steal from someone if you don't want them to notice. Yeah. It's, it's such a uh, so powerful. Yeah. So it's for greatness. I love it. I love it on myself. I love it on the, on a guy. I love it on a girl. Mm -hmm. right, it's amazing. Nine. A nine. <gasps> yeah. Okay. So interesting. So, his okay. favorite fragrance in this video is Oud for greatness. You realize? Yeah, but I am, maybe I'm a little uh, biased because you like, love it so much. Exactly. Quickly, tell us. I would say your favorites. Yeah, I would say Wood for Greatness, Nishane. Um, okay. Darcy, Delina. That's it. And uh, surprisingly, I really appreciate. It. Like I really liked uh, Misio. Oh, well, I'm gonna yeah. start wearing this one now. So yeah, I know, like it was really nice. And okay. Uh, for like a designer perfume, like I think it was a very interesting smell. It doesn't smell cheap at all. No, it's for, super uh, quality. Like, it's a pretty cheap perfume, isn't it? No, this one, this one is like, I think like... Ah, it's Le Parfum. Yeah. yeah. It's Le Parfum. Uh, I think it's like... Because the original one is, something. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one, yeah, this one is... Uh, it's really nice. nice. I mentioned this one before. So, they're all your favorites? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, I can't say they surprised me, actually. Yeah? So... Like, I felt like you were going to pick these. They but, uh, the exact same? Yeah, pretty much. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed having uh, Pierre back with me. Because actually, it's really fun to film with, like, somebody. Like, I know I film, like, a lot of videos by myself, but it's always nice to have somebody uh, with me filming. So, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye. Next time I'm, I'm invited. <laughs> You're always invited. <laughs> see you.